How many stars do you think you can see on a bright, clear day? Wrong! During the day, we can see the sun, which is also a star that is closest to us. When it disappears below the horizon, we can see thousands of stars in the sky, but all of them are only a small part of our galaxy, called the Milky Way. From the ground, it seems that they are all roughly the same size, but that is not true. Among them are neutron stars, brown dwarfs, red and white giants, and even supergiants. In addition, the stars are at such distances from us, it is hard to imagine. The light from the nearest star after the sun travels to us for more than four years. There are stars whose light flies 10,000 years, and there are those whose light still travels to us, although they themselves no longer exist. You have probably noticed that the stars don't shine as bright in the city as they do in the country. That's because the city lights are so bright they outshine the distant light of the stars. That is why it is much better to put telescopes on mountains and far away from big cities. This way, you can see many more stars. But even then, some light gets lost in the atmosphere. That's why scientists decided to send a telescope to space. This telescope is called Hubble, and it helps us uncover wonders we never have dreamed of. Taking pictures of different parts of space, it discovered many interesting facts about our universe. Found new galaxies, saw nebulae, distant stars, and planets. Every day, Hubble sends 80 gigabytes of data to the Earth, where scientists study it. The stars above us are very beautiful and very useful. Before phones and before the compass, people used the stars to guide their way in travel. Those who live in the Northern Hemisphere notice that one bright star is always in the north because it is right above the North Pole. It is called Polaris. To find Polaris, you first need to find the Big Dipper. A straight line drawn through one side of the Dipper points to Polaris. So if you stand facing Polaris, in front of you will be the north, behind you the south, the east to your right, and the west to your left. Try to find Polaris. Check yourself with a compass. Have you ever thought of what happens to stars during their lives? All stars are born huge and very hot. As they live and die, they become smaller and cooler. At the end, a star becomes so tiny, it is called a black hole because it sucks in all the energy around it. It works like a giant cosmic vacuum. It uses gravity to pull in anything around it, be it comets, asteroids, planets, or even rays of light. A black hole is so powerful, it can even change the flow of time. Time near a black hole is much slower than on Earth. It is impossible to see a black hole, but scientists use special tools to look for them and have found about a thousand so far. One of them is next to a constellation called Cygnus and is called Cygnus X1.